today, we'd like to talk about fuel cell humidifier. Firstly, why fuel cell need humidifier? The conductivity of proton exchange membrane is close to water. It would affect the efficiency of fuel cell, the durability of fuel cell, and the cold start of fuel cell. The proton conductivity of proton exchange membrane is closely related to water content. High proton conductivity means high output performance, high energy utilization rate, and high lifespan for fuel cells. The decrease of water content will lead to the reduction of fuel cell output performance and battery life. But too much liquid water in the reactor would hinder the internal reaction, known as water flooding. Secondly, the location of fuel cell the humidifier belongs to the air supply system. The air system provides clean and wet air for the reactor. It firstly removes particles and impurities through the air filter, then reaches a certain S flow rate and pressure through the air compressor, and then goes through the intercooler to cool down. Thirdly, tech rules overview of various humidifiers. It includes self-humidifying technology, internal humidification tech, and external humidification technology. It refers to fuel cells using water generated inside the reactor to humidify. There are various methods so it can retain more water to humidify and to reduce system complexity. Then it comes to the internal humidifying technology. It is built into the reactor using porous carbon plate and membrane materials. But it is rarely used in reality then. The external humidification is widely used in reality. It refers to the humidification process before the reaction as centers the reactor. It needs to use additional humidifier. Its method is simple, easy to control, install and maintain. There are various external humidification technologies, and the membrane humidification can be divided into two types. The flat plate humidification and the shell tube humidifier. The shell tube humidifier is tubular structure. It contains many tiny tube bundles, which is composed of non-porous hollow fiber tubes, dry gas from air, compressor, enter the right dry entrance one, through many hollow fiber tube, while water enters into the middle entrance, three absorbed by membrane, so that the dry air is humidified. Then the wet air enters cathode air entrance. If you want to learn more about fuel cells, follow our YouTube account. Rubri Technology